Guess what? When I had the idea for Shark Week, I thought that there were seven orders of shark. But as it turns out, there are eight. Thanks, brain. Well, rather than just scrap this idea altogether, I decided that I'm just going to talk about two orders in the same video. Sound like a plan? Well, it doesn't matter what you say. This video is pre-recorded and I'm already done by the time you're hearing this. Let's start off with the Squatiniformes, also known as the angel sharks. With a single family containing a single genus, this group of 24 species is less of a headache to understand taxonomically. Similarly to the Wobbegongs, they are highly specialized ambush predators, but rather than just hide in a coral reef and hoping some poor unfortunate fish swims near, angel sharks take it to the next level. By burrowing themselves into the sands of the ocean floor, they can basically turn invisible, which makes catching fish a whole lot easier. They're often mistaken for stingrays due to having flat bodies, a lack of dorsal fins, and the tendency to hide in sand, but unlike rays, these bad boys have more than dental plates. They have a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth that are ready to tear you to shreds, given that you're a small to medium-sized fish. Not exactly Hollywood-worthy to be honest, but they are truly a force to be reckoned with. Once again, given that you are a small to medium-sized fish. Similar to the angel sharks, Pristetioformes is an order that contains only one family, the saw sharks. Now let's get something clear. Saw sharks and saw fishes are two completely different families. I know it's confusing that unrelated elasmobranchs have somehow decided to both grow saws out of their noses, but somehow that's one of the least confusing cases of convergent evolution. Don't worry, I've come up with a foolproof way to remember the differences between the two. And a one, and a two, and a... If it is as long as Amelia Clark, well, my friend, you have a saw shark. If it has those lips you just want to kiss, telly ho, my dear chum, that's a sawfish. Oh, and also their mouths are in completely different places. The saw shark is a hunter, so its mouth is in the front and faces forward, whereas the sawfish feeds from the bottom, so it's underneath. Uh, I, I probably should have just said that. <laughs> Similarly to the sawfish, the saw sharks use their bladed rostrum to incapacitate shoals of fish which makes feeding much more efficient. It is not efficient. This is a fish end. Oh, and they also have barbels because at this point, who doesn't? That's all for Angel and Saw Sharks. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you tomorrow where we get horny. I mean, we're talking about the horn sharks. What do you think I meant?